Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton and from the Flourish Academy where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to look at a new feature inside of Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. But first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on our website. Now, in a previous video, we covered upsampling in Photoshop. That is increasing the size of your image so that you could get a much larger print without degrading the quality. If you would like to learn more about pixels and how all of that works, I will link that video below. But inside of Adobe Photoshop CC 2018, they released a new upsampling tool and I'm really excited to get to use it. Okay, so what I have here are three different images and we're gonna use three different techniques and then we're going to compare them. We're gonna start with this image on the right. Let's go to image, image size, and let's upsize this by 300% keeping resample checked and we are going to make sure to select by cubic smoother this was the preferred method in previous versions of photoshop and we're about to compare it and see if it still works better than the others and we're going to say okay to that then we're going to come to this image and essentially do the same thing by going to image image size let's change this to 300 percent but this time let's change this to preserve details for enlargement and say okay then let's go to this final one, choose image size, 300%, and this time the new technique, which again is new to CC 2018, Preserve Details 2.0. So uh, Photoshop is saying, excuse me, Adobe is saying that this is going to work better than these other techniques. So we're gonna check it out and let's say, okay. Now we have all three of these enlarged. You can't see them because they've obviously zoomed in and it's time to compare. Let's take the first preserve details version, press V on the keyboard in order to access the move tool, hold down shift, click and drag over to the bicubic image. And let's go ahead and name this layer PD 1.0. That's for preserve details version one. Let's come to this one, do the same thing. We're just moving it over onto this canvas. We're going to name this layer Preserve Details 2.0. And then we can go ahead and close these other images because we don't need them anymore. I'm gonna take this to full screen by pressing F on my keyboard and let's zoom in more than I would ever feel comfortable <laughs> because in this case, we are becoming pixel peepers. And let's start, let me even zoom in one more time. Let's start with the bicubic, the one that we're used to using. So here we can look at her eye and see the detail and let's go to the 1.0 and then the 2.0 i wonder how discernible that is for you on video let's zoom in one more time take a look at this is the bicubic smoother this is preserve detail 1.0 you'll notice it did sharpen it a little bit and then the second version I'm interested actually to compare the second version to the bicubic smoother. So I'm gonna turn off that version 1.0 and let's see this 2.0 versus the smoother. All right, it's definitely better. I would say based on what I'm seeing on my screen, there's no question there is a clear winner here, at least for me, and it's that preserved detail 2.0. I would agree with this. Hallelujah, this is really good news. Again, if you want more information on how or why you would upsample your images, I have that in a previous video, but the message here is this. If you are going to, when you are going to upsample your images for large print, then I would recommend going to image size, making sure resample is checked and choosing preserve details 2.0. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.